This is becoming more and more complex. So, you know, essentially most utilize what's called the IPSSR system, where high, very high is clearly higher risk, low, very low is clearly lower risk. And then you have this sort of intermediate category that can move um, either way. Most trials, when they say higher risk, so for example, the azacitidine megrolimab trial and others um, include patients with intermediate or higher risk disease, again, with the caveats that I just mentioned. That being said, we know that the mutations that these patients have has highly relevant prognostic value. So there's been a multi-continent international study um, by the IWG Molecular Committee, and they have basically um, designed what's called the molecular IPSS. So this is data, I believe, on over 5,000 patients. There's now an online calculator that's available. And even if your center has not um, done all of the testing, so maybe there's a gene such as um, MLLPTD or some others that are more rarely tested, the online calculator is still relevant. It allows for missingness. So essentially now we have six categories instead of five. It looks like it has a little bit more prognostic value. So I think it's gonna be helpful in our discussion with patient, though you know how this will impact treatment since all of the pivotal phase three trials ongoing right now are using the older clinical systems, I think it's still a big question. I do think it will, again, help us personalize, but how it will help us make treatment decisions, who needs HMA therapy, HMA combination therapy. I think there's a lot of work to be done, but I think this will be the sort of be-all, end-all molecular um, prognostic system, but how we utilize it still um, has a, a long ways to go.